Now, I'm gonna do this quickly because of time. And I want God by His grace to help us. Now, man of God, woman of God, raise your hands to God. Both of you, raise your hands to God. If somebody looks at you two with natural eyes, they will say, ah, perfect family. The truth is, you love each other. And indeed, your marriage is from God. It is indeed from God. But man of God, the angel of God told me this woman is crying. You are under... You are under... God is resisting you right now. God, not the devil. God is resisting you. And God is resisting you because of the spirit of anger. Because now the issue is, spiritually, God now is so frustrated. Because you see, husbands, you want favor from God. Love your wife. Amen. If you want favor from God now, love your wife. Amen. Don't let her cry tears unnecessarily. If a person is crying consistently and consistently and consistently, you are making God your enemy. Because God never gave you anyone in marriage to cry. God gave them to marriage so that both of you can be whole. Amen. Amen. Right now, I am speaking to you. Already, I am seeing you. You have rings on. Spiritually, they have disappeared. <laughs> this woman is crying. This woman is crying. This woman is crying. You're not a bad man. You're not a terrible man. She's not a bad woman. But this desire, listen guys, i rather be, be wrong and save my relationship than be right and lose it. Amen. 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 Listen to me. Jesus chose to be wrong. He chose to be sin to save us. He did not choose to be right. He was okay being called sin. So that he can save his relationship with us. Right now, man of God, the desire to be right, the desire to be right, the desire to control, the desire for this is being so painful to this woman. The angel of the Lord told me for the past four years, this thing has just gotten worse, 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 worse until now. God has a tremendous plan for you. God wants to bless you. Who worked like a teacher? I teach. Professor. God wants to bless you. Amen. God wants to bless you. God wants to increase you. Because I heard the angel of God, he said this in French. He said, Professor. That's what he said to me. So I was like, okay, who is the teacher? So hear me and hear me well. Do you want to be blessed? Yes. Do you want to increase? Yes. Do you want to be expanded? Yes, I do. You and your three girls, two boys, do you want to be increased and magnified by God? We want to be. Please love this woman. Amen. Amen. Stop making her cry. Amen. Amen. Don't make this woman cry. Now, now me being an African man, I'm very African. Don't be fooled by how I look. I'm a hundred percent African. But I'll tell you something. God had to reform me. Wow. We are very authoritative, but we could be controlling. Wow. We can desire to just be right, 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 correct, correct, correct. It is bad. God did not take a woman from your backbone so she can be behind you. He took her from your ribs so she can stand beside you. Amen. Amen. In the eyes of God, you are equal. In God's authority, you are above as a covering. It means you should be tender. You should be kind. You can guide. But this thing of somebody crying because they feel like they are not being loved is a bad thing. So I am begging you, man of God, if you need counseling, I will provide for it. Because your problem is not a demon. I can't rebuke what God is telling me. I have resisted him. My daughter is crying. I have resisted him. I can't rebuke what is not Satan. I don't want to fight. Imagine I go to this man and I say, in the mighty name of Jesus, Satan. 
ah, God will slap me. The angel of the Lord will roll his eyes at me. You have to be able to hear God and see. God is the one who's saying, I have resisted the professor. I have resisted him. I want to bless him. I want to open doors for him. But my daughter is crying. He needs to fix it. Man of God, hold your wife in high esteem. Man of God, love your wife. Don't stop dating her. Take her out. Take her shopping. Do nice things for her. Amen. When she's happy and she says, Father, bless this sweet, amazing husband. God is excited Amen. because you are being like Jesus to the church. Amen. Amen. God will glorify you. Amen. But if you don't do that, uh, you have a problem with God. So man of God, I want you to hold your wife's hands, two hands. Mama, look at your husband. And I want you to say this from your heart, man of God, because I want you to be blessed. You should have had millions of dollars now. You are dry because you are not understanding God's protocol. You are not a bad man. You just are too African sometimes. <laughs> I'm saying this, this is from an African man to an African man. I'm just being honest. Even you, eh? you need deliverance, we'll pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your wife, say, my dear wife. My dear wife. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I will love you better. I will love you better. And I will do better. And I will do better. I will hear you. I will hear you. I will not allow argument. I will not allow argument. Or disagreement. Or disagreements. To cause us to fight. To cause us to fight. These are little things. These are little things. We have gone through too much. We've gone through too much. And we are going very far. And we're going very far. To allow things to fight us. To allow things to fight us. I want God to bless our home. I want God to bless our home. I want Jesus to be the center of our home. I want Jesus to be the center of our home. I want to love you. I want to love you. Without any blame. Without any blame. When you are wrong, I will love you more. When you are wrong, I will love you more. And when I'm wrong, love me more. When I am wrong, I love you more. Because love is meant. Because love is meant. To cover mistakes. To cover mistakes. So my wife, I will do better. So my wife. I will do better. I will love you. I will love you. I will date you. I will date you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For the sake of our marriage. For the sake of our marriage. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Today the Lord will give me strength. Today the Lord will give me strength. To do right by you. To do right by you. Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? Put the microphone on mama. I do. You? I, I do. You do with all your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, shh. now, woman of God, hear me. People adjust, and adjustment takes time. The will and to recognize it is the most important thing. So as my uncle here is working, and you are adjusting... Be patient with him. No fishing. No going to the past and bringing up. What you used to do, we don't need that. That's good. People who are moving forward don't look back. Amen. Amen. You hear me well? Yes. Forgive everything. Let go of it. Where you're going is better than these small things. Amen. Is it okay? Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Lift, lift your hands, both of you now. Let me pray for you. Look at me. Look at me. Man of God, you're ready. I want you to be rich. Yes. Seriously. Yes. Seriously, you are ready. Ready. Prosper him, Father, in the name of Jesus. Increase him, as you have also increased me. Father, give our mama the heart to carry burdens. Father, I pray every oppression of the enemy to be taken away, and I pray that when she calls on you on his behalf, hear from heaven, bless and increase this family. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said clap for Jesus. Hallelujah.